thought it made me think again that he one time came to see the show and he was in the in the midst of doing movies. So he said, I can't give notes now, but I'm going to write them on the plane, whatever. And and he uh, read the or the stage manager read them the next day, and he said. A lot of people wondered about the success of the show. Well, many say it was that they had the first um, commercial, the Manson Trio. Many say it was the fact that it was uh, many, many fantastic numbers. But I want you to not forget the book. Everybody, a lot of people made fun of the book that you would ever get anybody to commit suicide. Six out of 10 people, he said, have contemplated suicide at some time in their life. And I never forgot that. I thought, is that true? I mean, but. He, that's what he told us. He said that six out of 10 people have contemplated suicide, thought about it sometime or other. And I used to be amazed with that when some people came up. I mean, you'd ask the blue haired ladies and they didn't know what was going on. But <laughs> I remember asking like a 10 year old girl, and go, oh no, I like my life. Oh no, not, I'm not coming up. And I remember once there was a, like a 16 year old boy who was shaking. He really thought he was going to commit suicide. And Ben Vereen would take him and say, and off to the wings and say, look, this is just a show, don't. But there were people who came up in the course of that show that really thought they were going to commit suicide. So at any rate, Fosse was this fabulous director in the way he instilled that in us. On that happy note. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. <laughs> period in his life when he thought that suicide was the only way out. Six out of ten, yeah. 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 I mean, he said that he thought that suicide was the only way out. Well, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs>